Hi, I'm David Raubling, Chief of Hardware at Liquid Instruments. In this video, I'm going to show you how the Mocha Pro Frequency Response Analyzer enables you to quickly and easily measure the frequency response or transfer function of a device under test from 10 mHz to 300 MHz with a linear or logarithmic swept sign output. Mocha Pro is equipped with four inputs and outputs, enabling differential or ratio metric measurements. You can probe up to four systems simultaneously or one system at four points. Select up to 8,192 points per sweep and configure settling and averaging times to balance total sweep duration and signal to noise ratio. The frequency response analyzer significantly improves workflow for a range of applications, including impedance measurements, power supply stability analysis, filter characterization, biochemical impedance analysis, and much more. Let's use the frequency response analyzer to determine the transfer function of a bandpass filter. We'll start by connecting the filter directly to one of four Moku Pro inputs and loop back to one of the outputs. Next, open the instrument menu and select the frequency response analyzer to view the response. The frequency response analyzer will output a swept sine wave into the filter and then measure the magnitude and phase response at each step in the frequency sweep. One of the most frustrating parts of system characterization is driving your device under test into saturation without realizing it. To help avoid this, Moku Pro Frequency Response Analyzer will warn you automatically if saturation is detected. To get a valid filter measurement, we'll need to lower the drive power until we're no longer in saturation. This, however, compromises the detail of the structure we're seeing in the filter stop band. To solve this, we can use the new dynamic amplitude adjustment feature and let the MOKU select the optimal drive power at each frequency on a point-by-point -point basis. When enabled, this setting will use your preferred amplitude where possible, but automatically reduces it to bring your measurement out of saturation if it is detected. This can improve the dynamic range of the measurement to over 140 dB, meaning you get excellent detail in both the pass and stop bands in one sweep. Now that we've optimized our measurement, let's take a look at the frequency response of a filter. Using tracking cursors, we can identify cutoff frequencies and see the pass band from 60 to 107 kHz. As I drag the horizontal cursor across the plot, I can see the magnitude and phase of the response. Now that we've characterized our filter, we can easily share the data with colleagues and upload it to the cloud. For advanced applications, the frequency response analyzer can be integrated into a larger system using multi-instrument mode, for example, to test the bandwidth of a phase lock loop. Here, the waveform generator phase modulates the input of the device under test, and the lock-in amplifier demodulates its output. There's a lot more you can do with the Moku Pro frequency response analyzer, including using multi-instrument mode to string together up to four instruments at a time to add additional filters or characterize another instrument in the signal chain. Using Moku Cloud Compile, you can even add custom functionality to your measurement. Moku Pro integrates more than 10 essential instruments and, like all Moku instruments, the frequency response analyzer's modern software-based approach enables superior flexibility and functionality. In addition to Moku Pro, the Frequency Response Analyzer is available for Moku Lab and Moku Go, so you can choose the system that fits your needs best. To learn more, visit our website or contact us at info at liquidinstruments.com for a live demo. Thanks for watching.